And my view here is that the way in which I know Christianity is true is first and foremost on the basis of the witness of the Holy Spirit in my heart. And that this gives me a self-authenticating means of knowing that Christianity is true wholly apart from the evidence. And therefore, if in some historically contingent circumstances the evidence that I have available to me should turn against Christianity, I don't think that that controverts the witness of the Holy Spirit. In such a situation, I should result, re, uh, regard that as simply a result of the contingent circumstances that I'm in, and that if I were to pursue this with uh, due diligence and with time, I would discover that in fact the evidence, if I could get the correct picture, would support exactly what the witness of the Holy Spirit tells me. So William Lane Craig's advice to fellow Christians is, regardless of any arguments you hear, regardless of how conclusive the evidence is, just keep believing in Christianity anyway. Because any evidence you see is going to be historically contingent. And you should wait until you have all of the evidence before you draw a conclusion. But wait a minute, the circumstances under which anybody ever has lived or ever will live are historically contingent. But even if evidence for God's existence does show up, it's going to be just as historically contingent as any evidence against God's existence. So what I think William Lane Craig means when he says, wait until you have all the evidence, is just wait until you're dead. And William Lane Craig calls himself a philosopher, but this of course is not the epistemological position of any real philosopher, or of anybody who's sincerely looking for truth. Because William Lane Craig's advice to fellow Christians when they hear arguments or evidence against God's existence is no matter how irrefutable the arguments, no matter how conclusive the evidence, just keep going la 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 for the rest of your life.